I've managed to leave it six weeks without touching it, but it, it's almost like the battle started again because the bits that I pull are there and I'm trying so hard to resist, but tension is just building up in me. And I just, you know, I can have a day where my hand doesn't seem to leave my scalp. And by the end of it, my sort of my fingers are sore on the joints where I've been pulling all day. I worry on the inside, I don't let, let, let things out to people. Don't you have an itch? You've got to itch it. But what happens if you're pinning your hands down? That itch gets worse and worse, and then you get more itches. That's what it's like. You feel like you're a freak when you're doing this. I mean, I felt for ages I was the only person that ever did this. It's almost like gardening your hair. <laughs> you know, you're looking for things that are sticking up and trying to make it all regular and neat. It is embarrassing. I suppose I feel sort of stupid and weak. I get worried. Probably makes it worse because then I start a whole circle of pulling my hair out again. So I need to stop before I can't hide it anymore. I've got trichotillomania, otherwise known as TTM or trico. That means I pull my own hair out. I just love having hair. It's probably the top thing in my life. And the next thing, obviously, is my family and friends. And then the next thing is my car. Those are the things that make me really happy. For a woman, her hair is her crowning glory. It is the essence of what makes us feel feminine. But for women with trichotillomania, they have an irresistible urge to pull it out. And it is without a doubt the worst form of hair loss that I have ever, ever witnessed. So 25 years ago, I opened this salon to specialize in treating women with TTM. There's masses of shame attached and masses of isolation. Very often they might have gone 10, 20, 30 years never telling a soul about this. That is very, very damaging and very sad. If I say to somebody I've got trichotillomania, they go, oh God, that sounds bad. What is it? I say to them, I pull my hair out. Well, what do you do that for? It is. A condition that's serious, that absolutely destroys you. The worst bit out of it all is this bit. That's where I originally started pulling from um, in the first place. I oh, know, Baba, Mum, sorry. This is the most frustrating bit. I end up doing it six, seven times, and it just... I'm still trying to do it an hour later, two hours later. I'm still trying to get my hair in place. <coughs> this is the bits that make me feel bad. He's pulling at me, he obviously wants cuddles and attention. And I'm trying to get my hair done so we can actually go out and do something. OK, Mummy's coming now. I'm coming now, Baba. I always find a way of disguising it. Very clever like that. And even in the house, when I'm on my own, I won't wear it loose, because it's as if eyes are watching me, even though they're not. The way I clip it in is just using Kirby grips. Um, it's always quite hard when I go through airport security, because I have to take my Kirby grips out, because they beep. Um, so then, this is my hair. It's never nice, this bit, but, um... It's looked a lot worse, so I'm kind of OK looking at it. Um, although the bit right here is... very conscious that this is a weak area, so it doesn't feel great having my back... Um, to you at all. 
I wouldn't let many people see me like this. Um, particularly people I wanted to maybe to impress or something, attra be attractive in front of. Um, and my boyfriend, Yamin, hasn't seen my hair. And he's sort of helped stimulate the motivation to stop pulling my hair, really. Last summer he said, if, uh, wouldn't it be great if next year you could dive into the waves with all your own hair? And that's what made me go and see my doctor when I got back. There aren't pills, there are no potions, there are no lotions, there are no injections. There isn't any really known cure. In the same way that there isn't a known cure for alcoholism. But there would be millions of alcoholics who are still alcoholics, but they simply don't drink. I don't notice when I pull out my hair. It's normally watching TV or reading a book or doing schoolwork. Just any time when my hands aren't doing something, I'll put them on my head. Um, it's normally once I've pulled out quite a bit and there's pieces in my hand or on my bed or when my friend, my mum or my boyfriend has shouted at me <laughs> for doing it or said, Oi, what are you doing? And that's when I realise what I've done and it's a bit too late by then. Um, the first time, I think she was about 10, she was sitting in the back of the car and, you know, you just turn around to say something to her and she was twisting hair on the top of her head and pulling it out. But then, you, you know, you think, well, that's just a you know, one-off or a habit and you don't really see the significance in there until it becomes very obvious when then there's a ball patch there. But I remember Nick and I crying together because there was nothing we could do. Because in a way, I suppose you think, what did you do that caused her to do it? Or was there something, you know, in her upbringing? They probably want to help me. And they do try and they say don't do it. But it's the bit between not doing it and someone telling you. They just want me to stop and I want to stop. But there's something there that's still going at the moment trying to understand why. I think that's the hardest thing. Yes, because I still don't understand. <laughs> I know she does it, but I don't know why. I don't have a reason for doing it. I'd quite like to know why I started it. But if someone could tell me, that'd be a bit better than everyone asking me all the time. <laughs> The exact cause for Trico is unknown. Many have no idea where it came from. Others can pinpoint a traumatic event which they believe triggered it. I feel I know the root cause to it. I'd had an incident on um, a bus going to school where I was basically attacked by a man. He put his hands up my top, putting his hands down my skirt and doing things, and I remember just, I wanted to scream and run off and get the attention of the people across the road. There was nothing I could do. I was just stood there, stopped. This man was, I'd say, about six foot three. Um, I couldn't do anything. I was an 11-year-old girl, what can I do? I was trying to wash it off, you know, trying to wash the thoughts and the feelings off, trying to get it off me. And I thought for whatever reason, shaving every bit of hair or pulling every bit of hair on my body off would do that. And it didn't work. Conquering TTM is far more than just getting your hair back. It's often a giant step towards putting your past behind you and regaining control of your life. Hello, Marina. Uh, can you bring Harriet down to me? I'd like to start my one-to-one. -one. Okay, thanks. 
Harriet is one of the youngest girls that I've worked with. I met her about a year ago and her trico is pretty severe. Am I right to say that that was your early sight? Yeah, it would be. You know, I'd have definitely started there yeah. and then I moved forward. Um, yeah. Move forward and down. Mm -hmm. Right. With girls like Harriet with a cute trick, we use an interlay system which is designed to cover the area with mesh, extensions and hair and it acts as a barrier and it stops the girls getting their little fingers underneath and gives the hair a chance to regrow. Number one, my confidence has improved. Number two, I'm not so embarrassed. Three, I feel that no one notices my... The girls enjoy the newfound confidence that the interlace system gives them for six months. Number 24, I've been brave enough to talk to... Next week, Harriet will be seeing for the first time if her hair has regrown or if after seven years of pulling, she's caused permanent damage. In the worst case scenario, I think it would be that my hair hasn't grown at all or there's patches where there isn't any hair. I think I'll be quite upset if there are patches that haven't grown back. Because that's it, really. I'll be 17 years old and I'm already bald. <laughs> <laughs>